Hello, you guys. Welcome to my channel, Jesus Wants You. I'm the Watchman on the Wall, Nikki Pratt. Listen, I have a ninth hour warning video to bring forth. Um, I should have done this video yesterday and did not get a chance to. Um, the sins you meet, cities of a perpetual defeat. Uh, we're going to get into that and see what's being said. With that said, let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for your power, your love, your grace. I thank you, Lord, for your mercy, your goodness, oh God. Oh, Father, Lord, I just pray and plead the blood of Jesus under those that are listening to me, oh, Father. Father, I pray that if any fall in line of what is to come forth, Lord God, on this video today, Lord God, that their heart would be open and receptive, Lord God, to receive the word and repent and be restored and return unto you. Father, we thank you for your goodness. We thank you, Lord God, that your mercy follow us all the days of our lives. So, God, if we are willing, Lord, to accept it in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord God, I bind every territorial spirit, O oh God, every mind controlling spirit, O oh God, every spirit of confusion, every spirit of doubt. O oh God, I bind it and rebuke it, Lord God, from over the people, from over the video and this upload, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you. We glorify your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. So this is going to come from Habakkuk chapter 2. Habakkuk chapter 2. And I was shocked to see that uh, on the, uh, what is it, YouVerse, the Bible app, that um, the word from today is from Habakkuk chapter 2. I forget which, which verse, um, but yeah. So anyway, um, in getting this, I asked, you know, the Lord a question, and I also got Nahum, and it, and, uh, it was like, Nahum chapter 3, it says, Woe to the bloody city. And it, it, it's, both chapters are just kind of like mirror image to each other uh, and, and what it's saying. And, you know, you guys, they're the cities right now. We know that we're in a ninth hour judgment, and we know that there is a lot that is going on all around the world. And, um, you know, people killing I, i'm seeing i think last week alone i probably seen like five or six or more uh stories of where family members killing family members and then children killing their family members or um uh, neighbors killing their fa family people and it's it's wow but um with that said, right before I did this video, I had a notification on my phone, and I was like, wow, what confirmation? Um, it said uh, 19 injured, 5 fatal in uh, Chicago, and this was a shooting. This is a, a city, you know, and everybody knows that lots of killing goes on in Chicago. Everybody knows that. But Chicago is not the only one. You know, I'm hearing where I'm from, Shreveport, Louisiana. They said, you know, since I left, that the crime rate has, like, skyrocketed. They said that it's people getting shot and killed everywhere. So, anyway, let's, let's see what's being said. Habakkuk Chapter 2. You guys, I'm sorry for those of you who are going to have a problem with this, but I have to read it and be, uh, that it be broken down where a child can understand. So there will be no uh, no doubt, no confusion, and people will get an understanding, okay? Um, I know a lot of people will have a problem with me reading from the message version, but, you know, I was, you know, just, I had this conviction that I needed to bring it where a child can understand, okay? All right. So, hey, it is what it is. You do what you do, but I got a job to do, okay? I don't please people. But anyway, okay, so uh, this is a word uh, to the righteous. God sees the, you know, the evil, um, and there's many 
of you praying, many of us praying, and uh, we've been crying out to the Lord, and, you know, we're saying, where is the justice? Where is the judgment? You know, all this crime, Lord, is going on. All these people, they're killing and they're stealing. We know that we're in a ninth hour judgment. You know, when is this going to be avenged? When, when, is, when is this going to stop, basically, right? Look, the Lord wants us to know that he's, he's a merciful God. He's a sovereign God. He looks high and he looks low and nothing gets past him. Nothing gets past him. Trust me, he sees it. But guess what? He's merciful, and they have had their time to repent. Now time is up. All this evil from city to city is going to be dealt with. No sin goes unpunished. Okay? Um, let me start uh, in Habakkuk chapter 2. This is the message version. What God's going to say to my questions, I'm braced for the worst. I'll climb to the lookout tower and scan the horizon. I'll wait to see what God says, how he'll answer my complaint. Now, for those of you who don't know about the story of Habakkuk, let me give you a little synopsis here. In chapter 1, Habakkuk kind of, you know, just kind of talk with the Lord and he was basically just, just ranting and raving, you know, and just pouring out his heart to the Lord about all the, he was like, Lord, how you let me look at all this evil and evil over here in this city, blood over here in this city and this going on and, and, and it's getting worse and you do nothing. Lord, you're a sovereign God. You're a good God. You're a merciful God. But, you know, no sin goes unpunished. What is going on? And then he says, you know, okay, well, I didn't, you know, basically, I didn't ask you all these questions. Now I'm going to sit in the watchtower, Lord, and see what you're going to say. So this is what the Lord replied. And then God answered, write this. Write what you see. Write it out in big block letters so that it can be read on the run. This vision message is a witness pointing to what's coming. It aches for the coming. It can hardly wait. And it doesn't lie. If it seems slow in coming, wait, it's on its way. It will come right on time. Look at that man bloated by self-importance. And you guys, the title in this Bible app is full of self, but so empty. Okay. He said, verse four says, look at that man bloated by self-importance, full of himself, but so empty. But the person in right standing before God through loyal and steady believing, is fully alive, really alive. Note well, money deceives. The arrogant rich don't last. They are more hungry for wealth than the grave is for cadavers, like death. They always want more, but the more they get is dead bodies. They are cemeteries filled with dead nations, graveyards filled with corpses. Don't give people like this a second thought. Soon the whole world will be taunting them. Who do you think you are getting rich by stealing and extortion? How do you think, no, how long do you think you can get away with this? Indeed, how long before your victims wake up? Stand up and make you the victim. You've plundered nation after nation. Now you get a taste of your own medicine. All the survivors are out to plunder you, a payback for all your murders and massacres. Who do you think you are recklessly grabbing and looting, living it up, acting like the king of the mountain, acting above it all, above trials and troubles? You've engineered the ruin of your own house. In ruining others, you've ruined yourself. You've undermined your foundations, rotted out your own soul. Hmm. The bricks of your house will speak up and accuse you. The woodwork will step forward with evidence. Who do you think you are building a town by murder, a city with crime? Don't you know what the God of the angel armies makes sure? Uh, uh, don't you know that? God of the angel armies, make sure nothing comes of that but ashes. Make sure the harder you work, 
at the kind of thing, the less you are. Meanwhile, the earth fills up with awareness of God's glory. As the waters cover the sea, who do you think you are? Inviting your neighbors to your drunken parties, giving them too much drink, roping them into your sexual orgies. You thought you were having the time of your life. Wrong. It's time of disgrace. At the time you were drinking, you were drinking from the cup of God's wrath. You'll wake up holding your throbbed head hungover, hungover from Lebanon violence, hungover from animal massacres, hungover from murder and mayhem, from multiple violations of place and people. What's the use of a carved God so skillfully, and that's a little G God, so skillfully carved by a sculptor? What good is a fancy cast God when all it tells is lies? What sense does it make to be a pious God maker? Who makes gods that can't even talk? Who do you think you are saying to a stick wood, wake up, or to a dumb stone, get up? Can they teach you anything about anything? There's nothing to them but surface. There's nothing on the inside but, oh, God is in his holy temple. Quiet, everyone. A holy silence. Listen. So all the evil from city to city is going to be dealt with. No sin goes unpunished, okay? Isaiah chapter 26 verse 5 says that the lofty, the high ones will be brought low, okay? So empty, unoccupied territory, meaning vacant of the whole, basically vacant of the Holy Spirit, desolate, full of self-arrogance, Basically, no fear of the Lord. Prideful, no cares, no worries, built up, no fear of the Lord, no life inwardly, gone mad crazy, self-destructing, judgment is coming to those who don't fear him. Okay? Satan and money has deceived you thinking that they are blessings from gambling, drugs, Lavish cars, women who sin to keep you lost, blinding you from truth, um, stealing, scheming for more and more money. What profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? Okay? Murders and think that God not see as if you're invincible, can't be touched, repent. You will no longer get by, judge, get by. Judgment is on the land. Careless, wayward living, drinking, partying. This is a word that I heard. Two words that I heard. And I've heard of the word perpetual. I've heard of the word defeat. But I've never heard it together. I heard when I was in my prayer closet, a perpetual defeat. I had to look that up like, what is that? Okay, basically like a curse. Those who continue to live in sin will forsake their mercy. Okay, if Satan is destined for a perpetual defeat, you hear me say sometimes in prayer, Satan is defeated, but we are redeemed. Okay, if Satan is destined for a perpetual defeat, why follow after his ways and follow him in defeat? Choose life. Choose Christ. There is life in Jesus Christ. There is hope in your salvation. If you're listening to me and you come under this, you know, we got, you know, basically we have um, Christians in, um, in church. You know, they go through the motions. They sit behind the pews. They do what they got to do. And then they go back to their you know, wrongful, hellish ways, you know, shacking up, drinking, clubbing, partying, doing all the things that the world do. The time we're living in now, we can't do that, okay? If, if, you, if you're one that you're dealing drugs and, and, and you're selling pills or you, you're selling weed or whatever the drug is, and you're getting money, and all you you know more and more and more and more money, but you're causing people illnesses. 
Because a drug addiction is a sickness. Okay? And and all all the, the gambling and the stealing and the robbing and the sexual things and thinking that, you know, tomorrow is going to be like tomorrow and the next day like the next day and last year, like last year, come on, people. Like it said right here, who do you think you are? Saying to the stick of wood, wake up. But, <laughs> wake up. Judgment is on the land. You know, I had uh, 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 the first title was dealing with, careless, dealing with careless hand and not see judgment up on the land. You know, we got a lot of people that are, are, are doing things and it's like they don't care. This is we're we're living in some serious serious times where uh, we have to have the fear of the Lord. And the fear of the Lord is 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 something, and it's a good thing to have in this hour. You know, the Lord have mercy on whom He have mercy. But the Lord loves you. He said, it is his will that no man should perish. So why? Why follow in the way of Baal? Why follow in the way of Satan and not give your life to Christ? And stop and repent. Repent means doing a whole 360 turnaround, turning from your evil sins, your wicked ways, and turning right back to Jesus Christ, getting to your knees and say, Lord, I've been doing these things. And I haven't been paying attention, all for my selfish reasons, whatever the case may be. But I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, it is time to repent. That deal that happened in Chicago, that is crazy. Nineteen in in different parts of Chicago, in different parts of the city, and I, you know, multiple shootings everywhere, just everywhere time to wake up i got another powerful video to do tomorrow it won't be uh like this one <laughs> uh, the the one tomorrow you guys will be shouting but um and then praising so uh let's pray you guys on this and let's pray for the people to repent and turn to the lord jesus christ i love you guys see you next video thanks